私が反対資金を結果は保証できないけど頑張ります私の防御力 Hello viewers and welcome to this new video. Today we are in World of Warships featuring the tier 10 German battleship Preussen. So uh, this is basically me testing uh, the new camera views, the new graphics, uh, because well few days ago the new update came out and there were a few changes. One of those was the uh, camera view angles uh, uh, change and I don't know if I like it it's a bit weird because I haven't played uh, with this camera before so uh, it doesn't feel right but I'm sure uh, it is not bad I mean I feel pretty decent actually my favorite feature about this is the spotting aircraft view uh, pressing C uh, you're gonna see you can change the view later uh, that's gonna happen but here we are uh, with uh, this uh, tier 10 uh, very big battleship that I got actually kind of recently uh, if you take in count that I have many tier 10 ships uh, this is one of the last uh, lastest ships so this is a ranked battle uh, I don't play that much World of Warships lately but I enjoy playing ranked because uh, they are more fun, more brawling uh, style and that's why I'm playing uh, a German battleships. That is secondary spec. I'm heading towards kind of the center of the map where I know that the enemy ships uh, will take a course towards uh, zone A and C. In fact, the first ship to get spotted is a Kurfürst that takes a 9k damage uh, from my 457mm guns. Of course, ships already are in C. As you can see, Napoli uh, is trying to capture the area, but he gets spotted. Uh, the Moskva uh, managed to catch him on his radar. Uh, he got spotted and he he has to run away because uh, he, he is under heavy fire from uh, me and my teammates. As you can see my secondaries are shooting him, 12.5 km range is very good. Um, of course this is a German battleship so that's basically the feature of all these uh, ships. I also am taking damage but it's, almo it's almost unnoticeable because of the uh, very high HP the ship has. I activate Hydro because I know that uh, uh, Napoli has torpedoes and he might have launched them. Meanwhile I'm shooting at the Henry 4 uh, although I know that uh, it's very hard to hit him because it's very fast and maneuverable. Uh, if I manage to get a good hit on him I can uh, get severely high damage. Unfortunately he gets away. I am looking at area A, where Minotaur and two Grosser Kurfürst are heading. I really hoped to shoot at the Minotaur when he stopped, but uh, since he he got the smoke, uh, he got uh, undetected and unfortunately uh, I could uh, shoot at him uh, in a blind fire, but I did not want to waste my shot. Instead I got uh, an 11k on the Grosser Kurfürst. Napoli is spotted again. I'm trying to angle because all uh, the shells coming my way, especially from Minotaur, I don't want Minotaur to uh, to shoot me uh, or at least to make to have heavy damage on me because uh, Minotaur really hurts. As you can see, I'm taking a blind fire shot on the Minotaur, uh, and I'm also uh, gonna try using uh, the alternative uh, uh, camera on this portal aircraft. Minotaur gets away because uh, he was moving, I did not even notice that. Uh, my shots are not very good, uh, both by myself uh, because I, <laughs> I am not aiming very well as you can see on this curve first. None of the shells hit because I mis-aimed. Also because of my dispersion, poison dispersion is not that good. It's decent, uh, you can get uh, decent salvos, uh, but 
Overall, eight guns, even though they are kind of big guns, uh, they do not do a very accurate uh, salvos. Instead, if you get the decent salvos, you can get uh, also some pretty good damage, as you can see, like three pens. Uh, what was that? 14.8k. There are no destroyers in the match, so uh, I am safe to wait here. I am spotted, so uh, the aggressor crew first still is shooting at me. Probably Minotaur uh, is spotting me, uh, so I have to be careful not to take too much damage. I'm angling uh, with uh, my stern, so that if Napoli decides to push me, I can get away easier. Minotaur is spotted uh, in uh, a spot that I did not even manage to think about. Napoli is getting out uh, from the island. I get a very big hit, one citadel. Unfortunately, could have been better. Uh, I got just two hits. Uh, my secondaries are engaging uh, also. Uh, Napoli's secondaries uh, are aimed on me, uh, he has range, uh, actually not anymore, but as you could see, uh, Napoli's secondaries are very good. A thing that worries me right now is not the Napoli, because uh, he is hard to kill, but uh, is not a very big threat. A threat instead is the Grisser Kerfurst coming for me. Actually, she's starting to kite away, because... She knows that if she pushes, uh, she's probably gonna die, uh, which is the same thing uh, I'm doing. There are like, there is the the whole enemy team in the enemy flank right there, and uh, I I wish not uh, to go there and die. So I'm getting away because uh, my HP is not very high anymore, and I try to change flank. I see that in the sea area there is a Schlieffen that uh, is trying to rush a Moskva. Unfortunately uh, for her, uh, I uh, catch her while she is committing and I get a citadel on her. Very lucky again uh, with only their uh, back guns. My secondaries uh, are shooting at her and it is only a matter of time before she goes out because she gets stuck on an island. That means that uh, even though I got out from the secondary range, that was my mistake, uh, she's gonna take a lot of time to get out of there. And with my very uh, big uh, damage salvo and my fast reloading guns, it's actually quite easy to take her out while she's stuck. She is a very fast battleship. She could get away but uh, she's right there. So looking at the minimap, I noticed that the Napoli was coming this way, as he did before, and I'm taking the shot on him, because uh, he, he is a very good target to pick. As you can see, dispersion does not help me, I get basically no hits, except one that is a Citadel, and I'm really happy about that. I'm getting really lucky with these salvos. Shooting a bit uh, with the secondaries on the Napoli, I get also the high caliber achievement. And uh, I think that with a few more salvos I can take him out, but the first salvos end up uh, ricocheting and the next one end up in a hit. So that's good, I guess. Now, enemy Grosser Kurfurst is also coming out where the Napoli did. And uh, I have to get away because I'm half HP and she's like full HP still. So I'm still shooting at the Schlieffen because she is low. I thought that my teammates could take her out, but they did not. Instead, I hope I can finish the job. I'm under heavy secondary fire from both uh, Kurfurst and Schlieffen. Uh, in the end, Kurfurst gets away, but... Uh, Still, uh, it's still heavy damage from the Schlieffen secondaries. I managed to take her out though and end basically the, uh, the fight. I don't want to get caught near two Grosser Curve first, even though the uh, other one is almost 16 kilometers away. 
those can do very heavy damage if they catch your board side. Uh, they have a lot of guns, so if they hit you, it's gonna hurt. I'm taking angles and waiting for the Grocer Groofers to come out from the island. She's obviously gonna try to go away and kite me, but I take the shots, get some pretty decent hits, secondaries are on the target, and uh, uh, she gets decimated on her HP. On, in return she gets also some decent damage, but definitely not enough. Um, and uh, with uh, the help of my teammates, I basically get some very high damage and manage to take her out too. My ships is kinda low now on HP, but I can still recover some of it. Uh, I have to repair the fire first of all. Um, and then I have another heal. If I can take out the Kerr first, then Minotaur is not gonna be a problem because, well, only one teammate died and we, we are uh, very good on ships. Uh, Kerr first is trying to hide, uh, but she is still under fire from the teammate Kerr first and uh, while angling against her, uh, I managed to take her board side and take her out too with some good damage. I'm noticing now that I am in 4 kills and 206,000 uh, damage. That would be awesome if I could get also the kill on the Minotaur and, that, and uh, basically end up the battle in a Kraken, which is very rare since in ranked battles that are there are seven ships and if you get five kill on the ships basically uh, you have done a great job and since i have high damage too i thought well let's do this and maybe this uh, goes well uh, a very good battle minotaur gets spotted by the vermont minotaur uh, was ob obviously gonna try and cap b uh, but uh, he got caught Vermont uh, gets hit by some torpedoes apparently and cannot manage uh, to finish off the Minotaur. Some teammates are actually shooting at uh, uh, the enemy ship, but uh, they are not very successful. The only real kind of success uh, is uh, the Vermont that unfortunately later gets taken out. But I am here, board sighted Minotaur, what's gonna happen? And yes. So, Minotaur gets taken out, uh, actually in a devastating strike, <laughs> I, I've i just seen that, uh, I didn't even notice. Well, as you can see, 228,000 damage, uh, not many shell hits, actually 65 is actually an average amount, I would say. Uh, very good battle, not great, not bad, uh, I like these kind of battles. Uh, Actually, this was the first one of the day, so I really had fun uh, and I actually enjoyed the World of Warships uh, battle this time. Uh, decently good, um, I am pretty satisfied. Five kills, of course, I got the Kraken, five Citadels and a decently high amount of secondary hits. On the scoreboard, uh, we can see I got first with the 2.4 uh, thousand base XP. Uh, teammates did kind of well too. Uh, and uh, uh, of course on the detailed report we can see all the ships that we damaged. Especially Napoli, I did not think I had done that much damage on him but with all the salvos I took on him uh, and all the citadels and stuff I really did some good damage. Also good damage on both Grocer Kerfirst, uh, 50k on both, some on the Schlieffen and on the Minotaur and uh, that one overpen on the Henry IV. I got some pretty decent potential damage, uh, as you can see, 3.7 million, which is actually kinda high, I did not expect that, but the combined fire from all those ships, I 
pretty much was in first line uh, the whole match, so that's good, I guess. Got good damage from my secondary guns, 30k around that, uh, but the main uh, damage dealer was my main guns. And here, if you are interested, there are the economics uh, of this battle. But let's get uh, to port and let's review the details of the ship. Alright, here we are. This is my German battleship Preussen. Let's start viewing the equipment I have installed. Secondary armaments modification 1, which improves the survivability of the secondary armaments. I could get main armaments, but they get take out pretty rarely and I don't really care about those, I much better have these ones. Damage control system mod 1, which is very good for tanking. Secondary battery modification 1, which of course if you have a secondary build, this is the one to get. Damage control 2, which improves tankiness. Ship's consumable modification, I also could get one of these two, but I find I found out that this one is much better in brawling. And finally, main battery mod 3, not secondaries, uh, that's because um, I happen to like a lot the main battery uh, of, the, of the ship, especially if you saw from the match, the most damage we got was because of the very good reload of the guns and all the shots uh, we, we fired at the enemy. I'm mounting some flags, actually not a lot because I ended up using some of those, but most importantly Juliet Charlie, which eliminates the risk of the detonation and the one that improves the characteristics of the secondary armaments. For my commander I have installed preventative maintenance, grease the gears, long range secondary battery shells, manual secondary battery aiming, emergency repair expert and fire prevention expert. This is the armor if you want to see it, nice good uh, icebreaker uh, with a lot of uh, plating, very good armor belt, uh, we can see there also is a good turtle deck, 150 mm gets a good angle, uh, the citadel is also very well covered and here is the deck 50 mm and this is everything from today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comment what do you think and uh, tell me of course if you want more of these videos even though lately I have not been uploading that much but sometimes recently I have been enjoying making some videos at least and without anything left to say remember to leave like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!